In this video, I want to show you how to rig and hook peeler crab. So obviously the first thing we need is a peeler crab. And an easy way to test whether a crab is actually a peeler crab or not is to take one of the legs and just gently pull it. Uh, if it comes easily, uh, then you'll obviously be able to see that uh, the soft shell underneath. And that's a very, very good way when you're gathering peeler crabs to find out if that's a good crab or not. Okay, what you need to do is remove all the claws and the legs. Once you've removed the legs, you can either discard them as I normally do because I'm a bit lazy, or you can use them as additional bait. They make absolutely fantastic attractants when you've got a ragworm or a lugworm bait. Um, they can also be added to the crab, just give it a bit of extra movement. Um, but as I said, I'm a bit lazy, so I generally throw them away. What I normally do now is turn the crab on its back and start to remove the underside of the shell. The reason I do this is I just find it's a little bit easier to have the main shell on the back while I'm taking the fiddly bits off underneath. Uh, what you really want to do is make sure you get all those bits off underneath before turning it over and taking the top of the shell off. Once you're happy you've got all the bits of shell off, uh, take your scissors and cut the crab. Uh, I just normally start from the back of the crab to the front of the crab and you've got two nice equal sections. Stage is to take one of those sections and thread it under your hook. What I like to do is either take the top leg socket or the bottom leg socket, thread the hook through it, twist the crab and then bring it through the bottom or the top section, the opposite one of what you've just done, through the leg socket there. And it just makes it a bit more secure when you've got to um, tie it all on. Then take your second section and do exactly the same with that. And once you've done that, the crab is then on your hook. So what you want to do now is get your bait elastic and bind the crab on to the hook. Uh, make sure it's really tight because it'll just come flying off in the cast if you don't. And the last thing you want to do is lose half that one pound crab you just bought and prepared before you can get it near a fish. One thing you might not be able to see very well in this video is the fact that I'm taking a bit of care to make sure that the hook point is not obstructed with the crab or the bait elastic. And there you have it, a lovely peel of crab ready to go.